All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below so that you can follow along. Today we're going to be walking through invoicing a billable expense. This comes from Section 1, Lesson 7 of the Fast and Easy QBO Advanced Level Certification course. You can find out more information about that here. And if you would like access to a ton more free hands-on exercises using QuickBooks Online, we'd love to have you in our locker room, which is our free Facebook group. The link is here below. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Started. So as usual, we're going to start in the sample company. If you don't know how to get your free version of QuickBooks Online, your accountant version, um, and you don't know how to access the sample company, then of course all that information is down below as well. Um, and um, so anyway, so here I am in our sample company. Let's read our scenario. So Kate has contracted with Craig's Landscaping Services to do some work in her yard. She decides she wants a rock fountain, and so Craig offers to get her one at a discount from Tim Phillip Masonry. Later, he will just add this to Kate's invoice. All right, so step one, we're gonna create an expense for the purchase. That means the purchase of the rock fountain from Tim Phillip Masonry, and we'll have him as the vendor. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna click plus new and click expense. We'll put Tim Phillip as the uh, as the vendor. Okay, it says you'll notice that a purchase order was previously uh, was created previously and pops up in the drawer. Go ahead and add this to the expense. Okay, so we already pre-approved that we were going to buy these rock fountains at a specific price, and so that's already set up for us. We're going to go ahead and click add. Okay, you'll notice that it pops up down here in the item details. It's in item details because we track uh, these specific things. It's not a cat, if it was something we didn't track specifically, then it would be in the category grid, but it's in the item details grid because this is something we keep track of. This is an inventory product. All right, so steps two and three, we're gonna mark the item billable and add cat uh, Kate Whelan as the customer. Okay, so here in the billable column, we're gonna check that and we're gonna say that Kate Whelan is the customer. All right. Okay, step three, click save and close. All right, I have a little note here that says, in a real life scenario, you would need to make sure that expenses are billable. This is done in accountant settings um, on the expenses tab. So let's go ahead and take a look at that, even though that's not exactly in the exercise, just so that you can see what I'm talking about. I click the gear icon and go to account and settings. And then right here on the expenses tab, You'll notice that it says, there's an option here that says make expenses and items billable. It's already on in the sample company, but you would have to turn this on if you wanted to be able to use this feature, which is Craig buys something and then charges somebody, charges his customer for that thing that he bought on their behalf. Okay, so that's what he just did with Kate Whelan. So let's move on in our exercise, step four and five. We're gonna create an invoice with Kate Whelan as the customer. You'll notice that the rock fountain you just purchased on her behalf pops up in the drawer. So let's see that. We're gonna create an invoice, click plus new and invoice. When I say that it is Kate Whelan, Right here, look what hot happened. This billable expense popped up in the drawer, okay? So this means, this shows that I bought something for Kate and then um, now I am charging Kate for that. So I'm adding that to her invoice. I click add right there. Okay, go ahead and add this to the invoice and then we just click save and close. Of course, if we had any additional work for Kate, we could add that right now, but for our purposes, we are just going to save and close. All right, and that's it for this exercise. Now, in this situation, we bought something on Kate's behalf and we just charged her exactly what we paid for it. 
Well, what happens if we want to charge her more than what we paid for it? That's called a markup, and that's what we're gonna talk about next. <music> 